1989. This is our house. From all records, we believe it was built between 1898 and 1909. There are no specific records, although a fellow down the street, two houses down, says he remembers it being built as a boy and he's over 90. It's at the intersection of Lewis and Woodland Streets in Melville, Virginia, of Victorian architecture common to the period. And here comes Cindy Jones to the front door, almost to the front door. Okay, let's swing around to the side of the house and we'll pick up there. Okay, this is a view down Wooden Streets. I'm gonna swing toward the house. We just biked up by the tree right about here. Two stories with an attic. Zooming in, we even have a front porch swing. Real Mill America in it. We won't be using that for a couple months. Okay, follow me to the back of the house. This is a view from the street that runs about, well, two, two lots back from our house. The house, again, sits on about half an acre and even includes a little bit of local history. To the rear of it is the old train depot, which originally sat next to the tracks, which run about maybe 50 yards to, uh, to my back. Also on the property is a pecan and an apple tree and I think some other trees, but I have seen you again, so I can't remember. Okay. So we're kind of proud of the old depot here. That's um, that's nice. It kind of blocks out some of the traffic from Route 13, which is about uh, next to the railroad tracks behind me. Moving down Lewis Street, that will be our garage in um, the spring when we get fixed up a little bit. Again, the old depot, which is not owned by Southern States, although a corner of us, a corner of this building kind of just in their property, or so I say. You see it's been snowing and icing for a couple days here. It's been one of the worst uh, December's I can remember in the five years I've been here. But some of the locals say the same thing. One outbuilding. Rose bushes. At Wood Supply. The depot. And let's go inside because it's getting real cold. Cindy, come on in. How is it out there? Pretty cold out bet, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, this is the inside of our house. I'd like to take you on a, on a brief tour. This is our kitchen. So, by the way, I'm the uh, proprietor uh, and owner. I'm Chris Jones, and my wife, Cindy, is the camera person. So, come on in, I'll show you around. This is probably one of the nicest rooms in the house. It's one of the biggest, at least. Um, we, um, have a lot of nice woodwork in here. It's the only original woodwork in the whole house, and I've been painted over. Have a uh, closet back here toward the rear. We have um, an outside cupboard in the back. Don't go that way, Cindy. It looks a little messy right now. Um, wood stove, which was left by the previous owners. You, know, you want me to get a shot of the fire there, Cindy? Looks real nice. We've uh, taken us a while to get, uh, get the hang of making this thing. Um, Heats the kitchen real well. The rest of the house, well, not quite so good. But um, kitchen is the nicest uh, rooms in the house. Uh, we have some white wicker over here to the uh, to the left, which is blood in Williamsburg and in Richmond, which uh, adds a nice little touch to the uh, to the whole room. The kitchen is not laid out as well as we'd like it. As you can see over here, we have uh, as soon as she gets her camera in this direction, we have this stove. And uh, corner here, the refrigerator is over by the camera, and the sink is over in this corner. Um, kind of awkward. And maybe one day it seems I can get around to rearranging it so uh, we can have it a little more uh, easy juxtaposition, I guess you say. Okay, but follow me, darling, into the um, den. This is probably the room that most of the living is done in. It's um. A room we did not quite finish. We've done a little bit of painting over in the corner. You can't really see it because it's hidden by the television. But this is some of the furniture uh, I had in Richmond when I was young and single. And um, that's basically it. The uh, probably the outstanding feature in here is the piano, which was given to us by a, uh, a 
father of a girl I taught last year at Nandua. It's in pretty rough shape, having last been repaired in 1967, but it does make noise. And hopefully Cindy this spring will get a chance to take lessons and uh, introduce music into our home. Christmas tree we bought last year looks real nice. It added a lot to the um, thing my picture to the Christmas uh, Christmas feeling. Okay, so follow me into the dining room. This is probably the most complete. Okay, Cindy, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know you can take the zoom off and on. I'm doing it. Okay. This is probably the most complete room in the house. Still needs a lot of work. This is the dining room with the rug we, we picked up before we moved in. It was originally a beauty parlor. The, um, the previous owner was a beautician, and before we could fix this room up, we had to pull the linoleum off the floor, which was held down by approximately 2,000 uh, linoleum tacks, and also paint over the top um, the paneling. The paneling was of a whitish and yellow tint with, uh, with yellow strips in the, uh, in the cracks. So we had to paint that a couple times to get that out. If you look up at the ceiling also, it is a, um, what kind of ceiling is that? I just call it a drop ceiling. Um, with, or an ugly ceiling, yes, with, um, with a fluorescent light fixture, which will be removed. Uh, I also have some butterflies that come the ceiling, which, uh, was left by the, which were left by the previous owner, which will come down. We um, built a corner cupboard, which was my, uh, my grandmother's. And um, my mom was kind enough to give that to us, which we will put china in when it warms up a little bit. Um, the table too with my grandma's. This is a, um, a buffet that Cindy picked up in parts for a really great price. It's, uh, it's beautiful, and one day this spring when it gets a little bit warmer, maybe we, we can um, we finish that. Varnish it, sand it, take care of it, which is real nice. Okay. Moving along. Oh, it does. A lot of rooms have fireplaces, although there are no workable fireplaces except for the stove in the kitchen. One day we'd like to knock out these fireplaces and at least get them looking. And as I said, we wanted to get the um, fireplaces uh, workable if we could. Okay. Before we go into the living room, we do have a bathroom that leads off the den, which is uh, kind of convenient. Not for that. Okay. Into the um, living room. Okay. Probably the biggest. And the coldest room in the house. It um, doesn't get too much action in the wintertime, but hopefully we'll be putting it to use in the spring. Probably the uh, crowning feature of the, uh, of the room is this swingback chair, which was picked up in Richmond. We're really proud that my mom got hold of this. It's um, pretty old, and it's done with, uh, with cool here, and it's real nice. It goes with the room really well. Sofa was gotten at a an estate sale in Richmond. While Cindy's taping, Tom mentioned that we uh, the lamp picture was a wedding gift from a uh, friend on Shane Tick, and the coffee table was picked up at a um, a yard sale on Shane Tick too. Oh yeah, the rug came from an auction at uh, an estate sale in Richmond. The mirror, Cindy, my charming wife, picked up at an auction in Parksley. It's very Victorian and should hang at the foot of the stairs once we get some uh, appropriate nails to hang it with. The, uh, I'm going to swing her back, if she will, over to the, um, when she gets the door, over to the corner. Okay, over here. This is their door. It's, um, the glass, it's a stained glass, Cindy, is it? It's stained, it's not stained, okay. Or skint, or etched, or whatever. It, yeah, it's etched uh, glass. It's, it's really nice. We like that. It's nice. Uh, now, uh, Marble Top Table, probably Cindy's greatest conquest outside of me, uh, was this Marble Top Table. She um, got hold of this. We got hold of this at an auction in, um, near Morley's Wharf. She did the bidding, and I nudged her when to go higher. It um, probably dates back to 1880, 1890, and we're really proud of it. It's, it's very nice, very, very pretty. It's adorned by a, uh, by a family Bible, which was given by my grandparents Christmas 1926, 63 uh, years ago. Over in the corner, she'll swing around. 
you'll see a screw cabinet that comes uh, from a granddad's hardware store in Richmond. Probably take, dates back to the turn of the century. He opened his business originally in 1922, and that is adorned by a picture of Cindy and her beautiful wedding gown. Okay. Over here beside the door is their home entertainment center, which we will probably stock to capacity when we uh, get a chance. Okay, with that, I'll let Cindy take from here and do the upstairs. Um, thank you for your time and consideration, and Cindy, take it over, baby. Okay, now I'm going to go upstairs. to put the rug here in the middle for one thing to keep it keep us warm and this is a holy desk and we will show you the first air um, bicentennial room first okay this is the um, what we are going to be using as da -da, the walk-in closet it um Makes me quite speechless. Nauseous. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one too. And uh, I'll go down to which room would you like to go to first? Bedroom. Master bedroom. I can't. This is one of my favorite rooms because of that we've worked pretty hard in it and, and it looks so nice with the post bed that um, Chris's mother gave to us. And the quilt that his grandmother handmade from, and it's just absolutely beautiful. That um, also, we picked this up. A nice little cell. Practically nothing with this mirror, which goes on top. Uh, the rocker was also an option, and the bed and the uh, dresser goes together with the set. So that looks, which we really enjoy. The rocker we have enjoyed also. <laughs> okay, let's go down to the bedroom, which we sleep in because it is warm. Come on in and shut the door so we can. Okay, this room is pretty trashy, I know. But it, um, we decided that. Uh, we just love this wallpaper, so this is what we went for. Now, this was the previous owner's selection of wallpaper. Um, we are going to paint over it and make it the same color as the dining room. Make this a William Bird blue and this the off-white. Um, this is uh, something that we got in Richmond. The neighbors, the Clovereses, gave us the chair, which is lovely decorated with my club. We're going to get it redone, and we don't know how yet. Okay, and I think that's basically it for a nice little antique typewriter. And we'll go on down to the bathroom. I can't see what's going on. Whoops. And this is air spacious bathroom, which we thoroughly enjoy after our small bathroom in Shigate. Um, there's not a whole lot to talk about, um, except trimmed in blue and brown and blue. We have a beautiful, beautiful vanity that we um, purchased at an auction that um, probably is one of my favorite pieces. Um, I've always wanted one. And it needs a little bit of work on it, but not much. And 
nothing like having a telephone in the bathroom. Because we got tired of killing and breaking your neck, running down the hallway, into the bedroom, around the corner, and up on the, up on the dresser. Okay. Unless if there's anything else my husband wants to talk about, thank you for joining us. And I hope you enjoyed Air House.